my boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart and surprisingly for me we have in here Doom Eternal running on my HD 7850 which is the same graphic card as an R7 265 or an R7 370 with 2GB of VRAM. So my recommended settings for this game it is to play at 1080p lowest settings possible, just set the game on low, enable the dynamic resolution and disable every stuff. Alright, so using dynamic resolution in here, you can select a minimum target of 60 frames per second, which means that the internal resolution inside the game will try to adapt itself until a minimum of 50% to get above 60 frames per second all the time in conjunction of using TAA. So as you can see in here, if I'm looking in here, I'm having 100% of resolution scaling, but if I look to... For example, there, what I have is 54, 52% of resolution, which should be something around or less than 720p. But the enthusiasm inside this game, it is so good that you can't barely notice a thing. Yes, you notice the game a little bit more blurrier, but still, it is a pleasant uh, experience. Although, and unfortunately, even with resolution scaling, with a dynamic one, Sometimes the game it is so demanding, and don't get me wrong, this game it is very well optimized, but sometimes the game it is so much demanding that the resolution scaling it isn't enough, and you can see some drops uh, wandering around from, you know, uh, 50 frames per second. So yeah, the game can be sustainable at 60 frames per second with this graphic card. You can see the, gra the FPS graph going from 50 to 70 frames per second all the time. But honestly, with all due respect, despite Doom Eternal, it is a 60 frames per second game. Having those drops to 50 frames per second, in my opinion, are barely noticeable. So the game feels very smooth and I have had worse in ID Tech engines before with Wolfenstein or even Evil Within. Alright, so this game, it is seriously well optimized and I wasn't really expecting this because, like I said, I had bad experiences with other games using ID Tech 6, for example. But this game with ID Tech 7, and despite it goes so well with, with resolution scaling, it looks so damn good and it runs so smooth despite the frame rate drop. So I'm so surprised that I'm running this game in here. And despite the AG7850, it is not really that good with Vulkan. And despite most of the IMD graphic cards are, this one it isn't. It is going pretty well with the game. So I'm so surprised with the performance in here. This is a 8 year old graphic card and it is handling a AAA title with the latest technology available. Congratulations ID Software for providing this awesome experience in here that I'm having. So what about the requirements? What does the requirements say? The requirements basically says that I shouldn't be playing this game because these guys ask for a Ryzen 3 and 8GB of RAM. With that it is fine, but they also say that you need an RX 280. All right, or an IMD R9 290 with 3 or 4 gigabytes. So what happens in here is that I only have 2 gigabytes of VRAM and I don't have the power inside the 280, for example. Uh, my graphic card it is much more weaker than the 280. And yet, we are here and we are running it properly, in my opinion. So very, very good. So, in case you are interested on buying this game, this game costs $59.99 on Steam at the moment. This is pretty much uh, a regular AAA price for the game. So, $59.99 or $49.99 is usually the price says where you will find AAA titles. But Doom Eternal, it is priced to $59.99. But I have a discount in here from Greenman Gaming. So, if you go to the link on the description of the video, you can enjoy a small discount from Greenman Gaming, where you can buy the game from 52, 79 euros. So it's not a big discount, but it is worth it. And for all intents and purposes, if you buy through Greenman Gaming, it is the same thing of being buying through Steam, because if you buy the game through Greenman Gaming, you will still have the game on your Steam account, because you will receive your Steam key, you activate your Steam key, 
of Doom Eternal on Steam, despite it was brought on Greenman Gaming, and you will get your game on Steam, activated on Steam, and it will be forever on your Steam account. Alright, so guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Doom Eternal. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>
cleansing of Earth is a necessary step on the path to a brighter tomorrow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 